Telen is a, a large company that no one has ever heard of. We sit behind a lot of the telecommunications equipment and information that's run around the UK. There's a stat that says about 95% of the UK population interact with something that Telen maintain or install on a day-to-day -day basis. Signage on motorways, electronic signage on motorways, customer information on railway stations, so PA systems and the signs that tell you what time your train will be coming, that's all Telen and the BT network runs on a, a piece of equipment that, that Talent maintains. So if you pick up a telephone, if you phone emergency services, if you catch a train, if you use a motorway, somewhere along there you're interacting with Talent. We're a design shop, we're a maintainer, we're an operator, we're an installer. There's so many different jobs, there's finance jobs, there's installation jobs, there's you name it, you can you can do it, do that sort of role in Talent. So you can have a you can have a, a career of 40 years, do 20, 30 different roles, but stay in Talent to do that. I found Talent because um, I just saw on the job boards Talent as a business. I really didn't have a clue who they were at the time, but started to research Talent and find out a little bit about what they did and discovered that they are everywhere. They're essentially the largest business um, in the local area that nobody's heard about, that everybody uses every single day in some way, shape or form. Communication is a massive thing nowadays. Things like rail don't work unless people are able to communicate with each other. So for instance, people are able to, to communicate issues, people are able to see CCTV, um, or even on a smart motorway, people are able to, to understand that actually it needs to be a 50 limit because there's lots of traffic up ahead. Communication is absolutely everywhere and we're at the heart of that infrastructure. There's so many different areas that we're looking to expand in and, and as I mentioned before there's such a diversity of different roles that actually what we will do is we'll notice those different gaps and then look at recruiting. Well, I know at the moment that we are um, we're recruiting quite heavily for engineers across all sorts of different areas at this moment in time. Very recently we've um, we started to recruit for um, people that are into data analytics so really um, very interesting and very different. I joined Talent about two years ago on the graduate project management scheme. So I've just completed that this September and then um, progressed into an assistant project management role. So I worked um, in NERTS um, for the first year of my graduate programme and then went back for the permanent role which is where I am right now. It's National Road Telecommunication Service. So it's just, um, I'm sure on the motorway you've seen all the digitalised boards, so it's all about the CCTV on the road, it's, it's a whole host of things. The current project that I'm running, I'm sort of like a liaison person between Tenant and HP, who are their uh, party supplier, so it's just in layman's terms I need to make sure that um, I get the requirements to HP to develop some software for us, and then so that they deliver that as well within the right time frames. So when I saw the graduate scheme, because I really wanted to go into project management, I sort of applied and I was like, okay, we'll see how that goes. Went through the recruitment process, I enjoy it to be fair. And the good thing is you don't really have to have an engineering background to do the job that I do because there's loads of training and you learn on the job. It's, it's, it's quite good. There's a lot of opportunity to develop. At uni, I studied business management with finance. So the business management side of the degree, you had a lot of sort of like human resources, marketing, a bit of finance. It covered a whole host of things to do in the business world. So project management was one of those graduate schemes that would allow me to have that sort of like varied responsibility across different elements. So what makes my job fun is what I do today is going to be completely different tomorrow and obviously it's that fulfillment as well you know doing a job that you enjoy and knowing that at the end of it all there's sort of like a, a tangible outcome out of it you know that I've done this I've completed it this is my milestone this is what I've achieved so that self-fulfillment at the end is also what makes me enjoy coming to work or doing my job every day. The skills that I would say you would require to be a project manager, you would need to be a good communicator, a good leader, um, have thick skin sometimes because you might not hear what you like so you need to be able to, to do your job. What I would also say is you need a bit of time management because it's all about delivery within a certain time scale so you need to drive people towards that um, goal and make sure you're all aligned with the direction that you're going in. I was in a sales ledger job um, and there wasn't that opportunity for me to better myself. I was looking for something more tech orientated as well and obviously Talent as a telecommunications company. You get to witness the other side to it so it's not just finance, you look at numbers all day every day. Like the meetings that I go into I find out about the projects that I'm working on so it's very much a all-encompassing job. When I did my research into the company I went, oh, I've never heard of this before. <laughs> 
we have team meetings in one of my rotations and the team meeting gen generally called for a uh, takeout delivery <laughs> and it's that communication between the entire team as much as you know food was involved my, my main advice would just be to keep a complete open mind have a look what's out there even if you're not at that point yet just knowing what's out there is a really good place to start.